What's up, everybody? It is Roger, or the 4K King, and today is a video I waited to see, you know, um, how the documentary would do, but I'm I'm pretty excited to get into this uh, because we did have mixed reviews, and that's great. It uh, does a lot for the video, and uh, if you don't know, we're talking about Collection Questions is a documentary, and uh, we're going to be looking at the review. So this is out now on Blu-ray and DVD on collectionquestion.com so if you want to pick up your copy that'll be linked down below but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to letterbox we're going to be going to imdb and we're going to see we're going to search the web see if we can find any reviews for the documentary so why don't we go ahead and hit up letterbox first Alrighty, so as you can see, we do pop up here on Letterbox, which is really nice. Uh, obviously, I reviewed it and I gave it five stars. <laughs> but um, so yeah, of course you got all your information, you got your poster. And actually, last time I looked, there was twenty five reviews. Now there's twenty six, which means there's a new review I haven't seen. So I'm excited to look at that. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead. And we're going to hit, let's see, what should we look at first? We're going to see who's liked it first. So we got a couple members here, Movie Collector, uh, Jalen Mays, and we'll get into the actual reviews of what they said here in a minute. Uh, Tony liked it, Hor Frank, Adam, Martin, Ryan, Dylan, Movie Guy, 4K King, Dan, Jake Boston, 4K Shadow Collector, Gentry, uh, Gentry Chips Night Out, and Film Geek. Very cool. All right, so let's see. Let's look at reviews, right? This is what we want to look at reviews. Uh, so this this is a new review. I haven't seen this from Movie Collector Man Twenty uh, Two, and it's a good review. Okay, cool. So he just reviewed it. Ooh, ooh. I hey, four and a half is great. That's so. Don't look at that. That is my score, but right here is going to be what they gave it. Uh, he said, "Great documentary with great questions and collections. This is such a great community. Thank you very much. That is highly appreciated. A uh, great way to start the review and off. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I really appreciate that. Great community for sure. Uh, everybody involved in this was really great." Alrighty, so next up we have one from Jalen Mays. He says, I got to commend Roger for putting this his own documentary together. This is truly an achievement, and I can't wait to see what else he makes in the future. This documentary goes through many different physical media collectors, and each person was asked a different question. This documentary shows that physical media is alive and well, and it gives a glimpse at a handful of people who are truly fans of collecting. Uh, so thank you very much. And he said um, he gave it three and a half. So a seven out of ten. It's really good. Um, let's see. He said, I've never, or, as a physical media collector and as someone a part of the film talk community, I like this a lot. Majority of these people I've never heard of. So I have new people to follow. It's crazy how David Howard Thornton, Art the Clown, was even a part of this. Getting this many people for a project and putting it together, releasing it physically, is something you got to clap for. Thank you, Jalen. Um, yeah, we were able to get uh, David Howard Thornton, which was really cool. Uh, and that, yeah, that was awesome. And uh, you're probably noticing like a two and a half up there. We're going to go through all the star ratings right after we go through the written reviews. So let's see. We have a three star review here. I like this, and I definitely think the quality could have been better. But again, most of the people who were in the film, who were in this, filmed on their phones. So definitely take that into consideration. This is the only documentary I've seen about collections, and I find it nice. And I love seeing everyone's collections. Also, I love the DVD disc art. Plus, the cover art is sick. It gives the old VHS feel to it. I wish it was more than just a bunch of clips spliced together, and I wish there was more editing and it feel kind of slow at some parts. I kind of wish it was just people answering questions and then moving on rather than spending minutes showing their collection. Uh, so, yeah, I don't disagree with that. I definitely think um, we could have done a better job at spacing out uh, how long uh, certain people had clips because some people had clips that went on way too long or their clips just it was a lot of filler 
and we definitely could have done that. I was trying to go for a very unedited feel, um, but yeah, definitely, definitely going to take that into consideration. And uh, thanks to Horror Frank for that review. Hey, three and a half is still pretty good, or three is still pretty good in my opinion, so I'm, I'm not mad about that. Alrighty, next up, we have a review from Adam. It says, okay, wow, I've been excited to see this movie since it's been announced, but it's way better than I expected. Love, love every second. Everyone go watch it ASAP. Adam, thank you. Uh, yeah, it, it was announced a while ago. We definitely could have gotten to it um, a lot quicker. Like, we could have released it once it actually was done. But we wanted to make sure and get it onto disc. It's a documentary about physical media, so, you know, it deserved to be on disc. And we did the DVD, and it sold very well. Uh, we sold almost all of our copies, uh, so we were able to put that money towards a Blu-ray. So, definitely, we had to make sure to get it on disc. That was kind of the purpose of it, you know. Uh, it's about physical media, so it only made sense. Alrighty, and we have a review here, four stars out of five, not bad. A well-done documentary starring a ton of content creators in this movie world. Great selection of questions that kept it entertaining and not repetitive. Overall, a great job. So, yeah, I really appreciate that, Ryan. Uh, I know with some other physical media documentaries that I had seen, uh, my main complaint was that the questions were the same. So it would be the same question. And everyone would be saying the same thing. So kind of the goal with this was to do a different question for each person. That way it's not repetitive, but we're all preaching towards the same thing, which is physical media. So I think, I think we did a good job of getting a wide variety of questions for sure. Okay. And we have another good review. Uh, five stars, which is great. Uh, finally, the whole truth about us physical collectors has been made in our favorite thing, a documentary slash movie. It was a fun watch and a great chance to see all these different collections showed. Thank you, Shadow Collector. He's been really supportive of the project, so definitely go check him out. It's much appreciated. Of course, good reviews comes bad reviews. And uh, we have a one-star review, and uh, it's quite funny, actually. Uh, looks like a homemade documentary about a guy and his group of friends and their obsession with their collections. We we are obsessed, I would say. Uh, <laughs> I hope it was a lot of fun to make because it doesn't look like a lot of fun to watch. Hey, you know what? It's all right. I'm, I'm even like the review. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not for everybody, um, and that's okay, you know? It's, I'm not expecting everybody to like it, but hey, if you want to give it a shot, give it a shot. You might like it. You might not like it. That's just how it works. Alrighty. So now we're just going to go through and look at the star ratings that didn't write anything. Uh, and it's a mixed bag, but that's all right. Uh, so let's see. Fallout Light gave it two and a half. So like a 50%. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Bodhi gave it one star, is what it is. Uh, let's see, Shadow Film 68 gave it four stars out of five, so that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, Martin Gomez gave it five, so that's really nice. Uh, Stacy Schaffer gave it four, pretty cool. Uh, Dylan uh, didn't put a star rating, we put a like. Um, let's see, Movie Guy. Uh, da, 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 da. we have a half star and we have, okay, that was the one star. Uh, so, <laughs> Hey, it, it is what it is. We got the good. We got the bad. That's how it goes. Alrighty. So I thought this would be fun. We went ahead and looked it up on Google and we're actually on there. A lot of stuff's on there. Uh, so why don't we just go through and just see what we can find? Uh, I think it's pretty cool. So, um, we got to, if you look it up, it says this documentary goes through many different physical media collectors and each person was asked a different question. So that's cool. That was from a letterbox review. Uh, then the movie comes up here on Google, directed by me. Uh, now I think it's funny. Alex Thomas Reviews is in it, but it's thinking Alex Thomas, I guess an actor. <laughs> so uh, that's odd, but. David Howard Thornton, Nick Jared, Nick of Baby Movie Impulse, and Kenny Vetter, Mid-Level Media. Uh, our IMDb page comes up. On uh, Blu-ray.com, we have a 7.3 out of 10, so not bad. Uh, 
Uh, we got a couple videos, uh, collectionquestions.com. Uh, we have Digital Binge. I've not heard of the Digital Binge. And they have a picture of my collection. <laughs> uh, okay. Released. So August 16th. Yep. Uh, do comedy documentary. Hour 35. Um, yeah, that's cool. Was that a video? I love. Okay. So that's our trailer. You can see other, my other videos popping up there. Uh, image gallery. So this is cool. This will show you guys. So this was original poster. I'm surprised they have this. Um, this was a poster that we made, uh, but we never really used it for anything. Uh, but that's really cool. I like that they got that on there. Uh, Tony's collection. Really cool. Uh, DVD plus digital copies. So they got, they got all the posters on there. Really cool. Uh, let's see, one of the reefs. What what are popular movies of Roger Arthur? Crane Games. I don't know what Crane Games is. <laughs> wow, there's everybody in the cast. You guys can see a huge cast of people. Uh, lots of collectors in this thing that uh, I really love. And so it was really cool to work with everybody. Uh, who's a director of collection? Questions, Roger Arthur. Uh, it's available in English. And what genre is this movie available in? Documentary. Really cool. There's Crane Games. I don't, theatrical, I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> but okay, apparently I've made other movies. Uh, let's see. This this is cool. I like this. We're just going, we're going through the website. Let's see. So some stuff is coming up that's not related to us. But we're going to head up here. Let's see. Let's see. Already watched. Uh, why don't we go to this? This is cool. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. Let's go to IMDb. So we are on IMDb. Star Chris Jones. Uh, overly honest movie reviews. Uh, hollow guys. More like this. If you like collection questions, you're gonna like Halloween ends. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting more like this. Huh. Okay. Uh physical media. That's cool. What is there a, is there a sub? Wow, that's cool. Wow, we're the we're the second one. Holy shit. Wow. Popularity. Most popular movies and TV shows tagged with physical media. We're the second most popular. That is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, cool. That is super dope. Let's see. Are there reviews on here? Uh, budget, $100. It was a little more than that. Uh, where's... Is there not there might not be reviews on here. So guys, go drop a review on uh on uh IMDb if you'd like to. That would be awesome. And uh yeah, we could get some reviews on there. So if you reviewed it on Letterboxd, go review it on uh, IMDb as well. Uh finally, we're going to hit up our website so that you guys can see where to purchase a copy of this if you're interested. So this is our website. We're only going to be up to for 10 more days and then we're gonna be go uh, doing everything through instagram uh i believe uh so we'll see uh and yeah so right here we have the blu-ray available we have the dvd available and then we have a couple of these left but uh yeah these are nicer i will say if you're not into disc, but if you're watching this video, I assume you would be. Uh, we have a digital file available, so you can download it to your computer. Uh, hell, you can burn your own copy. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> but digital download. And then you have the Blu-ray, which is what I would recommend. It's the best quality version of it. It's a very nice addition, too. Uh, barcodes and everything, it's all set up. Uh, and, yeah. So actually, I do want to show 
so yeah, you can get it on here. It's $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, but what's pretty cool, let's see, Grindhouse Video. So we are on Grindhouse Video. You can purchase us through there. Let's see. And I believe we're coming to a couple other stores. So here we are. It's $27.99. Really, really cool. There we are. Collection Questions Blu-ray. Absolutely love it. Awesome to see on here. So yeah, pick up a copy, whether it's through Grindhouse Video, whether it is through uh, our website, whether it is a digital copy, a DVD, or Blu-ray. Pick it up. Show us some love. Um, and yeah, you guys will definitely be seeing more from us here. Anyways, guys, that was a really cool kind of video uh, just to go through everything, see what's going on with it. Um, the project took a lot of time. It took a lot of effort. Uh, so many people had to do so much for this to happen. So I want to thank uh, Alex and I want to thank uh, Steelbook Obsessed, Jake. Uh, them two were really the big help uh, for getting this out. Uh, but I also want to thank everybody who was in it and everybody who supported the project uh, because it wouldn't have been happened without you guys. So thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't reviewed it yet, whether it's a good review, whether it's a bad review, go drop a review. Um, leave it on Letterboxd, IMDb. Leave it on both. Um, so, yeah, that would be appreciated. And we will catch you guys on the next video. And that's it for now. Peace.